Hello everybody. Um, today I'm working on my GMC terrain. It's the V6 VVT engine, the 3.6 liter. And what I'm doing is replacing the valve. It's back there. You can't. Oh, there it is. Right back in there. Let's see if I can get this angled. All right, right back in there. It is the uh, evaporator um, evap valve vapor for the vapor canister. I got a code. The uh, code was P0496, and the engine's been running a bit rough. So I looked it up, and this is what it says it needs. So first I'm going to... Uh, do a little little cleaning a lot of leaves up in here So I'll get that vacuumed out Remove the oil cap and I already undid the screw and I'll just pop it off There it's coming from that. that screw might still be on there a couple threads get my wrench for that Yep, that's better. All right, so I've just set that to the side. Put the cap back on the oil. The oil fill, you don't want to drop anything in there all right and uh, a little bit more uh, interesting stuff here let me grab the camera um, underneath the cover a bunch of nuts looks like uh, probably squirrels were in here when we were down in Florida there was a bunch of squirrels at the campgrounds we stayed at and you can see them going all, all over the car so I'm gonna vacuum all that up too all right Okay, got it all vacuumed up. Looks a lot better. And this way I don't have to worry about any of that stuff falling in to the intake when I take it apart. 560 socket to loosen these up. Just gotta loosen the hose clamps here. There's two of them. One there and one down in this area. This makes it so you can actually get to it in a very tight location. Alright, the boot comes off pretty easy. that hose is part of it. You can see. Okay. Got that off. So I'm going to try and uh, unbolt it first, then see if I can get it off. And that was a 13 30 seconds that I used. Just 
it's got a long bolt holding it on and there's also uh, besides the hose for the vacuum there's also a uh, electrical connection not easy to get to I wish I had a longer extension I'm sure I do somewhere screwdriver to get the electrical connection off it's a tight fitting connection there we go and give it a good wiggle okay got it out That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And this side here pushes in and the hose connects to this end along with the electrical. And let me bring it a little closer. That's the uh, hose connection. It connects on all you gotta do is push on it you push on it and that's what releases it and you push and then pull the hose off all right so i'm gonna hook up the hose and pushed on that little piece there hooked it up and then the electrical get it back in place gotta give it a rotate here cuz you, know, you really can't see what you're doing in here pull it back out and see if I can feel where those holes are The hose, or the hole for the, uh, the vacuum port is above. Uh, above the hole for the bolt. These engineers don't make things easy for you. They don't have to work on them.
going to be able All right, I think I finally got it. Sometimes you just gotta stop for a second. Ah. Drop the extension with the socket on. Where did it go? Okay, so I retrieved the socket and the extension. Made it all the way to the ground. At least it didn't get hung up in there somewhere. Okay, got that all snugged up, wires are on, vacuum arm is on, okay, just look at the throttle body. Oh, looks good. All right, now to get the get the get the boot back on. All right, that was easy. All right, the only thing I got left is to put the cover on. the oil fill and put that back on and we'll get nothing in it and then the one screw okay so as you can see all back together Go ahead and start it up. See how it sounds. Ah. 
I don't know if you can hear the tick. Oh no. I think you can. It doesn't seem to be improved with that valve on there, but that's the code that's coming up. So I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Let's see what we get. If we got any improvement. So I was told that the that the check engine light will clear itself once the problem is fixed after a little bit of running. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, the power feels good. This this 3.6 engine has a good good amount of power. No complaints there. Alright, I'm just going to turn and crack a barrel here and turn around and go back up the road. Uh, one thing I have noticed though is if I'm at idle and I give it the gas I can put it all the way to the floor and it won't go above 3,000 rpm I don't know if that's a safety feature or what but uh, when I just gave it the gas on the road I got it up over 4,500 rpm check engine light has not shut off yet like I said that's that's what I heard that it will after a few miles of running it and it running good it'll clear but we'll see all right well it's a few days after uh, replacing the part for the evap and the check engine light has cleared so uh, don't it didn't even have to use a scan tool to declare it clear it on its own after a couple days of driving uh, it wasn't a lot of driving just a few miles at a time just going to town all right just wanted to update you all on that have a good one and like and subscribe the video if you liked it and I'll be putting out more content as I have time to do it. Alright, thanks. Bye.